Hi, welcome to Padai Planet. So we have got one more question from Technometry, and that's a very good question because it has come a couple of times in the exam board exams also. And as we have been solving a lot of these questions here, uh, most of the times you must have noticed that we are doing nothing but simplification. We are hardly doing the trigonometry. It's more of this simplification. And in this question also, you'll observe that, you know, we will end up doing 90, 95% of uh, the simplification and, you know, just very, very little of trigonometry, right? So before I take much of your time, let's quickly start uh, with the left-hand side of this expression. So I'm starting with this and I'm making use of this also. And I'm just, you know, starting what I'm doing. So tan theta over. So here I have got one minus cot theta. So I'm just converting this into, you know, uh, one over tan theta. So that's one level of uh, simplification. Then I have plus cot theta. So this cot theta can also be then converted into one over tan theta. And I already have one minus tan theta here, right? So I have one minus 10 theta. Now I will simplify this. So I will finally have 10 theta over this 10 theta comes like, you know, I have taken this as a common denominator here. So this becomes 10 theta minus one, correct? This becomes 10 theta minus one. So this is like this, and this is the bigger line. And I have this equal sign here, correct? Now this is plus. So here also, if, if I have to simplify, then I will write it like this. This tan theta will become, will come uh, in the denominator and that will be like something like this, tan theta brackets one minus tan theta, right? So this is how we can write this. Now what I'll do in the next step is I'll bring this tan theta onto the top, right? So we will bring this tan theta onto the top and when it goes here, it becomes, uh, gets into the multiplication and you know, finally what we have on the top is tan squared theta. We have tan squared theta over tan theta minus one. So which is tan theta minus one, correct? So this is how it is. Plus here it is simple. We have one over 10 theta and one minus 10 theta. Now here again, what we need to do is we need to further, further simplify it, right? Now the first thing what we should do is we should take the minus also common from here. And the moment we take the minus common here, uh, you know, it becomes 10 theta minus one. This whole whole thing will become 10 theta minus one, right? So I'll just change it now. And this will become minus because we have taken the minus common and this whole thing becomes 10 theta minus one, right? Now let's make the common, um, you know, denominator for this particular thing. And when we do that, we will get it like 10 theta in brackets, 10 theta minus one. So when we divide this 10 theta with this 10 theta minus one, this whole thing with this particular bracket, then they will get canceled out and we'll be left with 10 theta here. Now this 10 theta, gets multiplied with this 10 squared theta. So finally you get 10 cubed theta here, right? And here the whole thing gets canceled out with this. So you are left with just one. Now here, what we need to do is we need to recall an important identity of algebra where it says that a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b and a squared plus b squared plus ab. That's how you factorize, that's how you factorize a cubed, uh, a cubed minus b cubed, right? So I'll just write it here also because I guess there you will have 
you don't have the visibility there because you know um, probably my video is coming there so i didn't realize it earlier so a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a squared plus b squared plus a b correct now this is the identity which we are going to use here because here 10 cube theta is basically a cube and minus one is b cube right so we'll just apply that so with the help of this identity we can understand that first we will write a minus b which means 10 theta minus one this is what we will write correct and then we will write a squared a squared means 10 squared theta then we'll write b squared which is one square and which is one and plus a b a, a b means the multiplication of one with tan theta right so that comes as tan theta now bottom we have tan theta and tan theta minus one so now you must have realized in this entire thing, whatever we have done so far, you know, the only trigonometry which has been used here is that cot theta has gotten convert, converted into tan theta. Nothing else has been used so far. We are all doing only simply simplification, right? So let's keep doing it. And here this gets canceled with this. So finally, this tan theta goes inside this bracket. And what we can do is we can write it like tan squared theta divided by 10 theta plus 1 over 10 theta plus 1 correct now <clears throat> this is if we simplify this further so this is you know 10 squared theta divided by 10 theta that means you are left with 10 theta and you can simply write sine theta over cos theta and then you have one plus tan theta so which is cos theta over sine theta and you have then plus one also correct so this is how you have it okay now this is equal to um what we will do is we have, we will again simplify it and we have sine theta cos theta as our denominator. And when we have that, and if we simplify, keep simplifying this, then what we have on the top is we have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, correct? And this one comes as it is. Now, this is the second set of trigonometry which we are using now in this question, and that is the sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. This whole thing gets converted into one, and finally, what we have here is one over sine theta. One over sine theta means cosac theta. So I'll write directly cosac theta times one over cos theta, which is sec theta. And obviously we have this plus one, correct? So we are straight away jumped uh, from this to this particular situation, or I can just simplify it further for you so that you know you don't get confused here. Um, I'll write it like this whole thing is one. So I'll write it one, one over sine theta. And cos theta plus one. Now, this one over sine theta gets converted as cosac theta times this one over cos theta becomes sec theta and plus one, which is nothing but the right hand side of ours. And I think we can, we have just completed the question now. And I guess you guys liked it and also understood it. It is not at all difficult question. The only thing is that you got to be extremely comfortable with the simplification. You need to remember all these algebraic identities. 
in trigonometry and especially these questions which normally come of three marks or two marks minimum three two marks and max of three marks sometimes they also give it to you at five marks also all you need to do is just remember these uh, algebraic identities and remember few of the basic basic trigonometric relationships between sine cos tan cosec and you will be done right so um, keep watching these videos and i hope you like them in case of any doubts query feedback please comment that and i shall get back to you thank you so much have a nice day and bye bye